Smartphones psychiatry could be the way to save your teen's life. There are new apps able to track your child's movements online and detect the warning signs of suicide and even depression. But could this be an invasion of privacy? CBS 17 investigative reporter Felicia Bolton is getting answers tonight. Ella Wilson and her mother Jean have a new outlook on life. After the 16 year old tried to kill herself more than a year ago. I guess part of me just didn't want to accept how far it had gotten with my depression. So I think I first realized when um, I did attempt suicide. After she was released from the hospital, her mother enrolled her in intensive treatment. And I couldn't keep going to work and leave her at home not knowing what she was doing, and I couldn't keep taking off of work to stay home with her. I had to do something to help her. Ella's story is becoming more common among teens. New research shows people are experiencing depression at a younger age. The suicide hotline in North Carolina hit a record high last year, receiving at least 60,000 calls. That's nearly 20,000 more than the year before. The increase has led researchers like Duke professor Timothy Strawman to look for new solutions using smartphone psychiatry apps. We're going to make much more headway preventing depression in teenagers using apps than we ever would with one-on-one -on -one therapy. Uh, it's just so much easier to disseminate. People are going to be much more open to it. Here's how it works. As teens scroll through their social media accounts, type out texts or watch videos online, they leave digital footprints that could offer clues to their mental state of mind. Preliminary studies show changes in word choice, typing speed, and voice tone could signal trouble. The app tracks the changes and depending on what it detects, then sends the user a message to get help. The user has to agree to the app's terms and provide some personal information like date of birth and gender. You know, Child psychologist Dr. Kristen day, Wins really likes the idea but says there are concerns. The downside would be privacy that we all know teens are sometimes really protective of their privacy and um, they'd have to give permission for something like this to be on their phone um, because it would be gathering some personal and sensitive information um, and we wouldn't want teens to feel uh, like there's Big Brother always hovering. For Ella and her mom, they believe face-to-face -face treatment, like the help the teen received, is the best option. I think it's going to depend on the person because for some people, they'll use it and other people wouldn't want to use it. Um, and kids are really good at hiding things if they don't want their parents to know. Reporting in Raleigh for the CBS 17 Investigators, I'm Felicia Bolton.